right so i'll just control d and i will now i will try to print the number of partitions that we have get num partitions and i will change this uh, description here that default number of partitions default number of partitions percent and percent d is the the placeholder for this integer because it will return an uh, integer and uh, this is percent n which is for new line now let's run this program again so normally it takes some time as mentioned but not will print okay as you expect we print the five uh, array uh, list elements total numbers in rdd is 5 and default number uh, number of partitions is 4 which means that uh, because I, as mentioned that uh, i am using this uh, local star which means that it will use all the all the number of partitions which i have got in as per my cpu cores in my machine so i got four cpu cores that why that's why the default number of partitions is coming as 4 now let's uh, write some um, interesting stuff i mean let's call, call some uh, transformations and actions so i will call uh, reduce function here so i will just use my rdd and i will call reduce reduce is the most important uh, uh, function i mean one of the most important function in the whole map reduce or spark etc like because we are trying to reduce all this uh, list of collections into like one value whether it can be maximum minimum sum for example okay so let's try to get uh, the maximum number out of this list although we have only like five num only five uh, uh, integers in the list so the maximum is five so it will be a very naive operation but let's run this first so integer i will just do max okay so this will reduce reduce or give me only one number from this collection which is the maximum number and again i will use final for this for maximum let's call some other uh, maybe i could call a minimum uh, where i will just pass this minimum method and let's also get the sum of it the sum of all those five integers sum and call this as sum and then we will try to print it out so as uh, i will use printf again and i will put max max is the maximum number that we just came up with uh, percent d as a placeholder similarly for min percent d and sum percent d okay and let's provide those placeholders okay control or l to reformat the code so we have first of we call the reduce uh, reduce methods on this rdd to get maximum minimum and the sum of all those five integers that we have created the rdd with and then we print it out now let's run this program get run it's running So as we can see that we got five elements. Total num total elements in RDD is with the count method we got five. Default number of partitions is four as the number of CPU cores in my machine, and the max is five. Minimum is one, and sum is fifteen, which is all correct as we do the mathematics. So let's revise what we have done. So in our try to uh, with resources block we created our Spark session with the app name as the spark first program which will be visible in the spark ui as a master as a local local star because we are running the driver node into the local mode uh, with number of cpu cores as 4 so we have provided star here we create the spark session and then we created a spark context object the java spark context object by passing this spark dot session dot spark context method as a constructor parameter and we got the spark context then we created a list a java list of only five uh, integers from 1 to 5 and then 
we created an RDD by calling the Spark context dot parallelize method on this, and we passed this uh, list of integer that we created, and we got this Java RDD with integer, and then we called a count method to count the number of elements in uh, in this RDD, which is five, number of partitions as four, and then we calculated. We called this reduce method, our first uh, transformation method here, which we which gives me the maximum, minimum, and sum, and then we printed it out. So this was all about this chapter on the first program. Uh, in the next video, we'll see, we'll visualize all this into the Spark Context Web UI on the local host port 4040. So see you all in the next video.